Hello guys! In this brief video I will download, install and first run Autodesk Revit 2024. The easiest way to get installation files are from Autodesk website autodesk.com slash Revit and from here you can download the most recent version and at this time it is 2024. So I just simply click download free trial. Now you can select which kind of user you will be because I'm interested to just to try it out. Anything works and the easiest one will be business. I hit next. Now I need to have Autodesk account ready. If I don't have it, I can create Autodesk account. This is free to create one and I do need to have Autodesk account even for trying the product. Because I'm current user, I do have my Autodesk account already available. I simply use that one. I hit next and also password, sign in. Now I need to fill in some additional data about myself. Anything works in here as well. I click next. I also need to input some additional data about myself or company and next again. And now it's important to just take a look what are download installation options. You can see that default method which is selected currently is install but uh, there is another one which is called download and I usually prefer this download option because in that case I download all my files first and then I can fire up installation at any time. Also I can easily copy those installation files to my portable drive and let's say install the product into different machines. Now this install method means that you get the installation screen quite quickly and all files will be downloaded to default location. It's not so easy to select those files and move to portable drive. Of course, it can be done, but for a new user, it's not so easy. And that's the reason why I usually recommend download option, because you have all your files which can be reused for installation at any time. So download. Now pay attention too that if you select now this download, you will be using your browser to download usually more than just one file. For example, in my case, I'm using Chrome and I can see already five tabs. So your browser should allow multiple file downloads. And then you have to carefully save all those files to the same location. So in my case, it will be for example, 2024, new folder and Revit. I then just copy this path. You can see that my first dialog says number one out of five. Those can be presented in any order. And if I just click save, now I get another one. Now this is number two. Again, I select the same location. Yes, save. Now I get number five, same location again, save. And now number three. Again, Revit and save. And finally, number four, Revit and save. So five files will be downloaded. And you can also see that the limit of one file by downloading through a browser is close to two gigabytes. So that's the reason why you have so many files in progress. Okay, we just need to wait a bit. Once those files are downloaded, we do need to extract those and then we can fire up installation. Okay, seems that all files are downloaded, five all together. Let's take a look to the location into where I downloaded those. And from here, I just need to fire up this 001 to extract my installation files. So double click. I then need to select the location into where I want to extract those files. This is not yet installation folder. And that's the reason why I just pick the same location into where I want to extract. So change, selecting the location. Okay, I can see that extraction started. It's about 12 gigabytes of files or installation files. And this yellow folder is something that I can copy to my portable drive. And then I can easily install the product to the next machine if I want to. So let's wait once this extraction is finished. My installation should start automatically, but if I want to install it 
at later times, I can also fire it up from this yellow folder. I will just minimize my browser window. The extraction is finished and I should see that um, Windows will ask my permission to fire up this exe file. I need to click yes and my installation screen will get ready. Just a quick note about this yellow folder. If I want to, I can dismiss this installation at this stage and I can install it at later times by firing up this setup exe. And also, once again, you can move this folder to any location and then through Portable Drive, for example, you can also install the product from this setup.exe. You don't need to have those files anymore. If extraction went well, you can safely delete those exe files. But let's now continue with installation. I have to agree with license terms and hitting next. Now I can select locations to where I want to install my Revit. I prefer and suggest to use default locations, at least in a single machine, if you are not a networked. And um, yeah, program files, program data, and I hit install. And we just need to wait once the installation is finished. I can already see that icon Revit 2024 is placed onto my desktop, but I have to wait a bit more to be able to fire it up. I can already start the product, but I will definitely wait once this screen is finished altogether. So, but in general, product is installed and you can already fire it up. Just a couple of seconds more to wait. All right, Revit 2024 is installed. It might be so that if it's your first 2024 product from Autodesk, then you might need to restart your computer because I do have already AutoCAD and uh, some other products installed. I don't see any restart dialog, so uh, I can close this dialog. I can start my Revit directly from this start button, so let's do it. And Revit 2024 will start first time in my machine. Please note that you should have your Autodesk account ready the same account you use to download the product. You need to log in to be able to run the product in trial mode. So you get some notifications that you have to log in. Because I'm already logged in, I get directly this marketing dialog. I can dismiss this one just by closing it down. Some privacy screen I need to accept. OK. And uh, if I want to activate my product, then I can also click this small icon, top right corner. I get the same marketing screen and uh, I can easily subscribe or enter my serial number. I close it again. So this is my Revit 2024 kind of desktop view. From here, I can simply create a new project. So models, I click new. If I want to start to build some component, this is called in Revit as a family. I can click new or open. But obviously, if you are just a new user, um, you quite often just simply start from the new project or from the new model. Let's create a new project by clicking new. From here, I can select my template based on what my new project will be generated. You can see that by default in 2024, you have kind of multi-discipline template available. But of course, once you're progressing in Revit, you can have different templates for different projects. So I select metric because I'm metric user, create new and hitting OK. In Revit, some key user interface elements are properties and also project browser because Revit saves all views into one file. From this file, you can kind of extract or view different views, like plans, 3D models, schedules, as such. If you want to save your project, you can do that several ways. For example, you can go to File, Save, Save As, then Project, and I just save it to my desktop. Revit Project Files to have RVT extension, so keep that in mind. 
that templates and families do have different extensions. Projects, RVT, I hit save. Okay, actually, in addition to my Fuse and Takish color line in here, I can also change the color scheme of my user interface altogether. Again, by checking options, file options, colors here again, and not use system setting, but I can select talk in here. I hit OK, and now my Revit looks like a bit different. But once again, if you are, for example, current AutoCAD user, you probably have used this Takish color line already. OK, that was about Autodesk Revit download, installation and first run. Happy learning and see you next time. Bye bye.